Every day we say it doesn't get any better than this. Every day we say it doesn't get any better than this. It's uh, it's just so beautiful out here. Beautiful lawn. Everybody happy. No hate. A conference of love of the church. Repeat that. Huh? <laughs> Repeat what you just said. <laughs> Say it loud. And we're live on Fanning Island. With <laughs> Chuck Corbett. And we're live on Fanning Island. <laughs> Welcome to Fanning, the island where the girls braid your hair. <laughs> That's cute. Grandpa's getting his hair braided again. You got girls giggling at you, Chuck. Okay, I get my hair braided next. Okay. You want to get your hair braided? Do you think it's long enough? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I would like to try that, yes. Absolutely. I would love that. Yeah, but we need a pink So, uh, it's actually pretty freaking hilarious, but uh, they're having a big uh, Mor Mormon meeting here. Uh, many of the locals, including the family that I'm staying with, is a Mormon. And there's, there's actually a couple kids here my age. It's really weird to see. Um, but yeah, they're just missionaries coming over here. And so this is a big Mormon meeting. and. Willie, the guy I'm staying with, brought a big old speaker set up and just like uh, is playing his, his, the music that his wife and him made and it's uh, pretty interesting seeing like technology come all the way out here to this uh, island that's in the middle of nowhere and they, they really don't have uh, much technology here so it's interesting to, to see what, they're, what they've been able to do and accomplish. Um, yeah, this place is pretty spectacular. Get my hair done for the first time. Might get it braided. Yeah. And Chuck's taking photos of me. Yeah. Keep you updated. I have an audience now. <laughs> Baby, don't you cry for me. It's an illusion. Just 
Is it done? Yep. It's done. Woohoo! <laughs> my first time ever getting my hair braided. <laughs> Never done this before. <laughs> hello, hello. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Show, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I... We're uh, Braid Brothers. Braid Brothers? Braid Brothers. <laughs> And so, is there any specific name for these mats? Te Kie. And then this may have, this, uh, this, this pattern has a name. A specific pattern? Not these today. mats are right. hand woven with the pandanus palm. Right? Is it pandanus? 
Wow, that is beautiful. Here, go, 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 go. Where exactly the picture? Um, let's, do that? let's do that sign in okay. front of the house. Sometimes, two, three days. Two, three days. She, she works hard at it. Wow, that's incredible. So this is this is. Are you are you filming? Yeah. So this is Ne, which is Mrs. Ne Ne. Adana. 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 Yeah. Natarena. Natarena. This is Ne Natarena. 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 Ma. With the M. Okay, and you? Konai. Miss Konai, she's in primary school. The uh, she, she made this mat. Took her the better part of a week, and uh, and she's she's used it to to get money for her school and family, and and we bought it from her for forty dollars. And and if anybody would like it up there in Hawaii or elsewhere, we have, we have plenty plenty to share. Yeah, we do. And um. And we'd be happy to get them up there for cost plus, plus, plus shipping. That's all cost and handling. Yep. Lucky, lucky Baldwin. Lucky, lucky Baldwin. I researched him. And you knew him. So Lucky Baldwin was a man in the 1800s who moved, who found the the Comstock, the gold load, in in Virginia. Virginia City, Nevada, and he took his money and moved down to Los Angeles, and he bought like a quarter of Los Angeles. Whoa! In the 1800s. Whoa! You heard of Santa Anita Racetrack? Yeah. That's his. Really? And and several of those cities in the area, those yeah. are his. Baldwin Park. And that's his yacht. What? This is his descendant's yacht. His descendant's yacht? And you know his descendant? Yeah. So really? they came to Christmas. Really? And, and, and this boat has, there's no expense spared. It has a glass, glass sliding, like, no picture way. going Star Trek. Whoa. With the, the doors, they go whoop, whoop. That's incredible. <laughs> Clear doors. No way. And does this guy ever come back down, or do you have a contact with him? He was uh, he was returning from racing in the Baja 1000. That's a car race. Yeah, yeah. And his plane fell out of the sky off of Capistrano. The descendant did. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Alrighty, I'm here now. My garden of fucking Eden. This right here is uh, the prison, or the old prison. Chuck was actually locked in here a few times back in the day. Apparently, he would uh, try to sneak in with the tourists, um, and he was just a crazy local guy, and uh, they would. <laughs> They'd throw him, the police would throw him in the prison, and then he'd beg the tourists and ask them to let him out, and he'd, uh, the police would get mad at him and whatnot. Pretty comical. Classic Chuck. So this, uh, big old statue over here, I wish Chuck was here describing this, but I think it was, uh, Captain Cook who came here, and they built this memorial for him, but I... I could be entirely wrong. And all these stones are uh, really, really nice the way they built these structures. And so I'll come out here and 
This is my big old bouldering rock. And I'll boulder. And I actually have something to climb out here. And it's a good solid workout. But I usually go all the way to the top, but I have this camera in my hand, so I'm not. That's where I do my morning bouldering and I actually get some rock climbing in while I'm out here which is incredible and it's actually a really freaking good uh, bouldering wall and it's tall so I'm able to get all the climbing I need in. The current that comes in and out of this atoll it gets freaking crazy strong enough where there's like massive whirlpools that'll pull you under and the surf spots right over there and when it's going in it'll suck you into it pretty quick but uh, I want to do a drift dive along it actually someday here very soon so there's a nice little sandy pit it's a wind block here just kind of it's my spot to come out and chill and uh, yeah, it's really nice. It's just this white powdery sand because the sand here is freaking just white powder when you find it. But, uh, yeah, check out how strong that current's going. What a beautiful sunset. Oh. <laughs> 